Well, uh, I'm Ben, and uh, this is the last day of the Indianapolis 2019 Home and Garden Show in uh, the State Fairgrounds. I, um, it was a pretty good week. I was down two sales from the previous years, and considering the fact that uh, Saturday and Sunday, the first Saturday and Sunday was absolutely horrible, horrible weather. Um, I mean, it was horrible weather. We left at like 3 o'clock the one day. Uh, it was absolutely terrible. <laughs> I cannot begin to tell you how dead the traffic was. And usually those Saturdays and Sundays are really good sales for us, and it was not this time. Uh, the booth was pretty much the same. Uh, for some reason, it was not straight. So I am suggesting that next year we don't even put down the majority of this floor. Uh, maybe we just uh, put down like the strips on the front and maybe just like one strip or something like that. Don't put any strips um, past the, so like the basically the, we just put down one, two, three rows, three rows from the front and then leave the rest there. So then I, I can put those risers up for the backdrop and not worry about uh, the thing being uh, leaning because that top corner, you can see how it bevels right there. And then over there, it's uh, it's not right either. So it was a pretty good successful show. Uh, I spent about uh, two hours and rearranging uh, the electric in the booth, added a Wi-Fi hotspot so it's there all the time. Uh, I added more surge protectors here on the side. I cleaned up all the wires here so I don't have wires dangling throughout the show. Makes things a lot easier. I also permanently mounted the people counter up underneath here in the back corner. So that was a uh, good success. The neighbor just over here had that big uh, contraption. Uh, you can see him tearing it down. That was pretty bad. So what I did is I actually put up a one of our retractable banners, the one with the lava cake, and put that so it actually blocked their complete view. I asked them earlier in the week if they wouldn't do that, and they said, well, tough, this is what we're gonna do. And I'm like, it is what it is. So Tony's booth was pretty much the same. And uh, Ken's booth is right down there. We're gonna see if we can actually move down to if Ken's not gonna be here next year. The flower and patty, uh, the Dan and Jeff from Spectrum Landscape Services is not going to be here probably at the next show. Um, and Dave, the cool guy, he's gonna hopefully move down as well. So this is the uh, recap video. It was a pretty good week, very long and uh, ready to get out of here, but uh, nonetheless, this is the uh, Home and Garden Show recap video. And if you want to learn more about what I do, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.